Hi guys, it's me Zio here, and I'm back with my um, Wizard's Tower, or Witch's Tower. Uh, I'm gonna do some more witchery. So, yes. Today I am going to do a couple things. I'm going to make um, I'm going to make an altar and try to find a place for it, and then I'm going to make the things to put on top of the altar, the candelabra, um, the chalice. I'm not sure how I fill in the chalice, so I'm not gonna do that yet. But I can make an empty one, um, and then I'm gonna see if I can make some more. Uh, some books. I think what I should need to start with is herbology, which means I need flowers, which I have gathered, but I need a book. So yes, let's get started. Oh, hey, I got a friend over there. Um, so yeah, I have been growing stuff and making plants. And also, um, this is not a server, um, this is my single player word file of the server, because our server died. Or it's not dead, but, um, it's not active, to say it like that. So I still have, um, I still have the areas where the other people are on the server, so I can sneak over and use their hydrogen stuff and things like that but um, they're not on it and using it at the moment so it's gonna be a bit lonely but I'm gonna have to do what I can with this and I'm gonna actually chop down this tree no I'm gonna leave it it's nice it looks nice I tried actually to um, move my entire farm to a different single player world file and I did not get very lucky with that so um, some other time I'll uh, try out MC edit a bit more and see if I can actually make it work um, but as of right now I'm not very good at it and I managed to chop off my farm and off uh, <laughs> so yeah I'm here to gather some lava because I have to make tuned stones which are one diamond uh whiff of magic and the lava bucket whiff of magic is from rowan saplings which i have a bunch of so that should be fine um but i need diamonds and i need lava and then we'll be needing to burn some wood say hi to my dear hello so yes, hmm. trying out some new stuff in witchery and it's a lot of fun but I need to, um, I need to get better at it. I'm not exactly, what is it, the tombstone, let's see, in the bottom, yeah. Oh wait, I don't have... Rowan, right? So I'm gonna burn some of these and I'm gonna go and see if I can find a book to make the herbology book. Let's see. Um, that one just as regular books. I'm actually not sure if I have any books. I haven't been. I should have enough sugar cane to make paper. And I definitely think I have leather somewhere. There. Let's just make a book. So, to make the herbology book, it is flowers, feather, and ink. Wrong way around, of course. So, 
So this book, if I'm not completely mistaken, will tell me what, how to grow the plants. So yes, many common plants are used in the preparation of brews and magics. This book details those rare or exceptional plants not known to the common folk. I'm not common folk anymore, I'm learning. Belladonna, deadly nightshade, so is this plant known, and deadly poisons from it grown. It grows in tilled earth in stages. Tall grass yields seeds. So I have some belladonna growing, I think. And I have some seeds for it, at least. Ember moss, a plant with unique defense. When disturbed, it bursts into flames. Harvest with shears. It can live anywhere, but spreads only on grass, dirt, and sand. Mutate this plant from another with mutandus. I, I think I did this on camera, um, but I made a bunch of these. And they're spreading in my garden. Glintweed emits an, earth, an earthly glow that illuminates its surround. It can live anywhere, but spreads only on grass, dirt, and sand. Mutate these plants from another with mutandus. Mandrakes. We all know what the mandrakes do. They scream and shout and hit you. Snowballs make um, this. They make needles that you need to wake up with. I think, from when you go into nightmares and dreams. The curious plant, cold as the snow, freezes moisture as it grows. It grows in tilled earth in stages. Tall grass yields seeds. A creeper-like moss that grows best on trees forms the best puppets that can be. Harvest its shears and keep it to keep it intact, mutate this plant with from another with mutandus. Wild bramble. This thorny bramble spreads around. When you try to pull it down, mutate from cactus and Spanish moss. Ooh. Cool. Ender bramble. Keeps creatures at bay. For when they get close, it teleports them away. Who needs? I need to just make that. Um, this does the same. A waterbred plant with strange effects fills the belly and then empties it. It grows in stages of in still water. Curious plant that hold uh, mutate from tall grass and an empty chest. How does that work? Creature snare. Mutate from all their saplings, a web and a zombie. Okay, so this one I know how to make. Um, blood rose. Scratch from this rose, leave your, leaves your blood behind. Make believe plant that only grows in the deepest of sleep where one's dreams go. So these I have. Alright. So a couple of these I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to make a bookshelf, I think, to put all of these in. Let's see if we can do that. Um, book bookshelf. I can do that. bookshelves. So I'm gonna have to make um, a bunch of books because I'm gonna need all of them at one point. But let's see. Picture. I'll start with this distilling one and the one for plants. For now, I think I have read somewhere. Now, for our um, altar, we need stone bricks, Roman wood, and exhale of the horn one, a water bottle, and breath of the goddess. Now, I think, if I'm not completely mistaken, I have a bunch of water bottles that I keep getting from um, my fish traps. So I'm just going to bring two because that's all I need right now and I'm probably gonna need to bring the rest later for distilling and potions um, and I made some let's see 
many? Eight, maybe? No, actually, I only need four. Do I? Yeah. Let's see. Um, let's put our bookshelf there. And put this one in there. Yay! So I've been playing a lot of um, Seven Days to Die, so I keep using the wrong buttons and it's actually getting a bit annoying. Um, I'm going to finish up this altar now, and then the next step will be to make potions. Let's see, two of those, one of those, and... No, I need two of those. Two of those. Oh, right. I need. That's why it's so wrong. Let's see. Four more of those. Because I need to make six, not just. The last one is butter balls. There's half of it done. <laughs> Hurry up! Hurry up! What was I needed for the tombstone? Whiff of magic, bone saplings. Did I get that? Oh yes, plenty. And a lot of wood ash. On top of this altar, I am going to put a candelabra, which is a tombstone, three iron, and three of those. So let's see if we can make some tombstones. I'm gonna make three. I'm probably gonna need more, but that should do for now. Tombstone there, or there, iron, 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 candelabra. Nice, and then I'm going to need some gold for this, I guess. Gold, four ingots, and two stone. Also, I think I have um, a wither skull hiding somewhere. So, let's see, two of those and one for nuggets. Unless I have it for nuggets. And my chest. No. And I don't have the skull here. Maybe I'll have it back in the other one. Dun, 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 dun. So I also have to figure out where I'm going to put it because I don't actually have any plans for how I'm going to set up my um, system. There it is. Skull. Not a winter skull, but a regular skull. Um, I know it's a good idea to place the altar outside of the fences just so you don't try like bring summon demons inside. So maybe I'm gonna put it here, I think. On the other side of this, and then I can just make um Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Let's put our altar down and then we'll leave it there for today. Two, three, one, two, three. Whee! And we're gonna have our 
skull. Like that. And candelabra. I don't know if it matters where I'm placing these. I'm just going to put them. And our altar is now pretty strong. So, yes. I'm going to... So I can do circle magic out here if I clean up the place. I'm going to do that off camera. And I can have... Um, I don't know, mobs are just going to walk straight in here, aren't they? Hmm. Maybe I should do it the other way around. Okay, I'll do that, actually. The other way around would be better. That way I can walk out, but mobs cannot walk in. Let's see. Then like so. Four thousand eight hundred thirty-three. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm pleased with that. So I'm gonna call it there for today. Next time I'm gonna be doing the um, uh, up, 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 up. I'm gonna start trying to make. I think I'm gonna start making the um, stuff I need for the distillery and um, potion brewing because. I think that's a good idea. So, um, I'll see you later. This was Vitri and I'm Mizio. Bye!